The devil will do everything to keep you doing what is obsolete. What do I mean by the word obsolete? That's where the word archaic, which I'm going to talk to you about today, comes from. It means out of date, something that no longer works, old fashioned, outmoded. You know, using a model of something that maybe worked a hundred years ago, but doesn't work today. That's what archaic means, and that's what obsolete means. So, the devil is a master at the archaic. He's, a, he's the master at tempting people to do things that no longer work, so that people will not find solutions, so that people will not come to Jesus Christ, so that people will not become free, okay? In Revelations 12, verse 9. And it says, And the great dragon was cast out, the old serpent, called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. The word for old serpent is the word the archaic serpent, the obsolete serpent. Revelations 20, verse 2. And he laid hold on the dragon, the old serpent, the archaic serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound them a thousand years. But in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, it tells us, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. The old things, the archaic things, the obsolete things, the things that no longer work, are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. But yet, my friends, when you look at our church services, when you when we when you look at our meetings, we're still doing many things in an obsolete, archaic method. For example, because people are, have been asking me to to give examples. Okay, for example, we live in a social media culture. We live in a Google culture. We live in a socially connected world. We live in a very diverse world where I live in Los Angeles, we got almost every single nation of the world here. Wherever you travel now, you see all the nations have mixed together, all whether it's gays, straights, this gender, that gender, you know, this political party, that political party, the races, everything, become kind of enmeshed and interconnected. And it's this diverse world where people are seeking empathy and compassion. So we have to approach people from the basis of we're living in a social world. We have to approach people from the basis of relationships. People are, are communicative. We got text messages and Facebook and tweets and people are communicating, people are interacting, people have a people have this social world. People are accepting things that they were not accepting before, whether it's right or not or, or wrong, I'm not the judge, I don't care. The reality is that the church, which I'm part of, has to approach this world in ways that Jesus, who is very creative, is going to tell us to approach it. And that is by building relationships, by uh, providing solutions in God by providing that God is a God of friendship and love, right? But if we come with the archaic methods of the first thing, the first thing that we do, the first thing that we do is to say, this is sin, this is evil. Okay, it could be, I'm not, I'm not denying it, but are we gonna reach people? Or are people gonna see the approach of us in the church as, okay, the first thing that we do before we even become social, before we even have a relationship built, before we even love people, is to say, you know, God's angry with this, and this is sin, and blah, blah, blah. Whether it's sin or not, the fact is, are these archaic and obsolete methods going to work in this world? Or do we approach people in this world through the eyes of friendship, 
and love and that God loves people and that God wants to heal people and that God wants to set people free. Again, the devil is the master of archaic methods. You understand? If he can tempt Christ Christians with archaic methods that are outdated, things that maybe worked a hundred years ago, but are not working in this socially connected world, then instead of going to the people that God has asked us to reach, we're actually scaring them away. And we're actually building, instead of a bridge, we're building a wall. What good does it do? So remember that the devil is the archaic devil. Whether you're having a meeting, whether you're having a church, whether you're trying to reach people, really spend time with the Lord and say, am I using God's approach to reach the world or am I stuck in this archaic, obsolete, non-working methods that maybe, work, maybe worked in the world 200 years ago, but that are no longer working? We must change our approach. We must change the way that we reach people for the Lord. If not, people are going to see a lot of the church as this obsolete, archaic church that is very just, we're going to worship God and we're going to talk about what is wrong with the world and we're never going to reach it. Okay, my friends, God bless you and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.